Welcome back, my dear students. I got another lecture here for you. On this one here, I'm going to try to make it a little shorter than the last one, but I wanted to show you the most uh, possible information about this. But anyways, I'm glad that you're here, and um, let's go ahead and do it. So, now in the last lecture, we learned how to do a lot of things here, right? Well, on this lecture here, we're going to do a couple more things. So, let's do a save as on blank.html. And I'm going to call this, this one we call the picture practice. Let's call this picture practice two. Picture practice. This one we are going to be inserting a picture via CSS. All right. All right. Perfect. So let's go ahead and put the container that we need. I'm going to go to practice and get that container right here. Actually, it's going to be a different one. Let's do a different one. That's fine. Let's do, let's call this. So we got a diff. Let's put an ID of uh, picture CSS, picture hyphen CSS. All right. All right. So we don't have anything here, but I'm going to insert a picture in this diff right here. So first we need to style the diff so that way we can put the picture in there. How about that? All right. So. Let's go to the style.css right here, or right here, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to take this off here because we're not using that, right? All right. Let's go pound and paste it because I just copy it from the other side. If you didn't, did not do that, go back and do it. Forgot to tell you that I just copy it. All right. So now what do we want to do? Let's open this up actually in the browser so we can see it, right? Right here. Actually, we can do it like this too if we wanted to. There we go. Actually, we named this underscore. So underscore two. There we go. So it's empty right now. And let's put something there just to see if it's working. There we go. It is working. Let's go to style.css. Perfect. So here, the way we insert background images are super simple. And that's what it is, a background image. So we're going to say background, and we can go all the way down. You can see me putting the arrow down my keyboard like this. And I'm going to go to images, enter, and then background image. And we're going to say this. But we're going to type in the URL first and then parentheses and semicolon to close that right all right so here what we got to tell it is where the image is so we know the image is in images right here forward slash what image one what dot jpeg all right or jpg now this is not going to show here and i'm going to tell you the reason why if we refresh there is nothing showing because we are in a folder called css Right, we're not in the send directory as the practice HTML. We don't have the images, the uh, the image right there, right? So we are in the CSS, and we need to go back, right? Let me show you. So give you an example. So we are here, here, all right, and here. So we have to go back here and then here to access the images. So in order, in the way we do that, the way we go back, I'm going to go to the CSS, style.css. The way we go back is we put dot for this directory, and then we say we're going back another directory, and then we say forward slash. And now if we go back to that page and we refresh, we don't see anything there. All right? So now let's, let's, go, let's analyze what's going on here first. All right? So let's analyze that we have the correct image path. Uh, image name image one dot jpeg and style images one dot jpeg and we can see that is actually you see that is actually working because we can see that it's showing me the image if I had this wrong if I put my mouse over it would not show me so the path is correct what's not working is that this ID right here picture that CSS let's go back to this and make sure we save it here Oh, okay. The reason why this is not working and you will not see it to work is because this div here does not have a width or a height. 
So it's impossible, and this is a good point I want you to see, it's impossible for this to work. So we need to put a width and a height. First is the width, colon, and let's set it a width of what? Yeah, the image is 900 by 300, so we're going to set it 900 pixels. There we go. Refresh, nothing there because we don't have no height. And let's do height 300 and you're gonna see now the magic refresh and now we can see the image see that beautiful right so that's how you put an image from the background there now we can of course do other things with that container align it and make sure that it is in the right place All right so we could say margin oops zero auto Make sure that that's in the right place there. All right. There we go. You see that in the middle? Perfect. So that's how you are, we are able to insert images from the CSS. All right. Even though that this is not a CSS course, I wanted you to know that. All right. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. And I'll see you in the next practice exercise. Bye-bye.